Hey, welcome back to Channel C4 and Haggis. Today I got delivery of an Antminer L3. It was displayed as broken, so let's see if we can find what's wrong with it and get it fixed. So as you can see, we managed to get it running, and as it was described, there was two cards only be picking up. Now only one and a half there is showing up, but um, let's take it apart and find out what we see. But first a power meter to find out what it's doing. Not too bad compared to the S9. Just straight up off an inspection of the two boards that I could find that were defected, there's a lot of what looks like mobile phone glue and a lot of blown chips or overheated chips. That board will not be going back into the miner, but the one with all good chips with a kind of weird repair will go back in and we'll see what works. Now I have my suspicions that it may be a bad main board as I've seen a few of this on YouTube as well as eBay with a lot of them are broken but people can re replace it with a okay, new board. We so we will week on trial and error and find out what's wrong with it. First part of this video, putting it all in one as it's quite a short one, we managed to get the Antminer L3 running. It's been running for about a week on there. Um, we have done the, let's see if this lets me show you, click on the workers, I'm using F2 pool for this as on Litecoin I can mine both Litecoin and get paid out in Doge as well. So I've got a mini Doge at the same time, we'll get to that in another video. Over the last few days it's been relatively okay. It's been getting, even though it's doing one full board and one half board, it's been averaging about 200 mega hashes, so about 0.2 of a giga hash. Um, and let me see if I can log into it. Show you that one. Now again, if you haven't already done so and you like this content, please like and subscribe. And if you have already bought yourself uh, an ASIC miner and you're still using the same root and root password, go into administration and change that password so nobody can hack you. As on here you are able to get a check for password attacks. Now, it looks like there has been wrong password entered today, maybe? No, on the 18th. So yes, today actually there's been a few failed entries to try and get in, but I have changed my password so nobody else can get back in on this. Now, same again, a week on, I have a brand new refurbished board or working board from eBay. A couple of, about 100 and something pounds, not too bad. But again, on number four, it is not showing that it's picking up at all. But one full board number two and a half board on number one. But there is four boards in the machine, but it's not picking up three or four. So what I suspect is that it could be a, a bad main board. Now, my reason being is because I've got a couple of refurbished boards from working machines in there that is not picking up as well. They must be not talking properly to the main board itself. So let me see where I just purchase history. If we can still see the screen. So I've got another L3 on the post, again broken, running different software. I want to see if I can try and do something with that. And before I posted the second part of this video, as what we're doing just now, one of the fan blades snapped off mid mine and it just about rattled the garage apart. So I have put a basic Mac Pro. And it's a lower voltage one, but in the HiveOS software, this is not recommended. I don't recommend you do this. Disable fan check. It will not cool. It will not mine at all, sorry, unless it knows the fan is there and then it can check it properly. Now, this isn't only meant for immersion cooling only, but I want to keep mining. So what I've done was I've kept the miner to stop if it goes over 80 degrees and check the fan Customised fan speed percentage, I've kept it at 70, which is more than it normally is, um, but it's a lower wattage fan, so I want it to keep cool properly. 
But since moving on from that, we have a new main board coming that apparently is working as is on the same firmware that I'm using just now. It's working without a problem, which is new music to my ears. I want that to continue. And oh, I'll show you that last board. There was a spare board that I got, working in replacement, 165 quid. And this was the miner itself, so it cost 358 after postage, as I bid 350 and got it. Now, so on the back of that, so I'm waiting on the new board coming. That's on its way, should be here by tomorrow. I'll finish this video up here today, but at the minute I have found it's meant to be work running on three boards, but only two are working. The EB seller was quite honest and let me know that it's only running on two boards. Even still, it's still running lower than the Antminer S9 power supply. It's not a bad thing for me, it's still giving me a dodge payout. Um, I'll show you what I did get. In revenue I got, I've already had paid to my Coinbase wallet 0 0.02 of Litecoin and I have had 46 dodge paid out to my wallet as well and there you can see the it has been passed out to myself. Again, that means nothing. So all the Litecoin transactions are on the blockchain and you can see the transactions there. That is my wallet address. It hasn't been paid yet because it has to come, you have to get 0 0.2 of Dodge, I can't speak or tell the truth, 0 0.2 of Litecoin for it to go to your wallet and 46, but you can see 46 has been sent before and received to my main Dodge wallet and it did come through a couple of hours later to my Coinbase wallet and there was much more relief than I knew it was working. So I'll leave it here with a look of my new Gold Shell Miner as a preview for the next video and thanks again for listening to my dribble and i hope that you tune in again soon and please please leave a wee comment down below and hit that wee subscribe button as well thanks again for tuning in and on to the next one